Here we are again. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to stream and welcome to more Mega Man. It's time for the third game in the Game Boy Mega Man World Quintology. It's time for Mega Man 3. Or Mega Man III, if you don't know Roman numerals. <laughs> uh, so, uh... Yeah, let's get right into it. Um, so after Mega Man 2 happened, and I guess wasn't very uh, well received by at least internally, uh, Capcom went back to um, <clears throat> Minakuchi Engineering for development of this game, aka the same company that developed uh, the first of the Game Boy Mega Man games. Um... So, uh, yeah, they were tasked with making Mega Man 3, and they were given, it looks like a whole year after Mega Man 2 to make it, because this, according to the wiki, the Mega Man wiki, dropped in December of 1992, so, uh, yeah, about, about a year, or a little over a year after Mega Man 2. So uh, maybe we'll get something a little bigger. I don't know. We'll see. At least the audio will be pitched correctly this time, which is nice. Um, uh, I don't really know what else to say about it. I do, however, uh, because there's no like story explanation in game. I do kind of want to read to you the the blurb on the back of the cover, um, because it's kind of it's kind of funny and also it's the only story we're gonna get uh so it's the Mega Man 3 the battle at the center of the earth apparently we're not going to space this time unlike the first two games that sinister scientist Dr. Wily's at it again now in, now he and his renegade robots have purloined an offshore oil rig and are drilling through the earth's crust sure it's up to Mega Man to shut down their scheme before Wily can harness the molten power of the Earth's core to fuel his latest metallic monstrosity. So he's literally going to use oil and liquid hot magma to um take over the world, I guess. <laughs> guess that's how it works. Join Rush, Flip Top, and Mega Man. Flip Top is Eddie. As they battle wave after wave of mechanical maniacs as they search through Wily's fiendish fortress. Battle Snake Man, Spark Man, and six other robot masters as you near Wily's lair. Snake Man and Spark Man are cool enough to get a mention in the in the back cover blurb, but not the other six. Um, sneak inside and summon the power of the Mega Buster as you face the awesome power of Wily's ultimate creation. Yeah. So just like uh, how the first two games went, this is kind of a combination of two different Mega Man games in terms of its content and features. Um, Wily's Revenge was 1 and 2, Mega Man 2 was 2 and 3, and here we have a combination of Mega Man 3 and 4. So, uh, a couple things that were mentioned that are new. Uh, we got Flip Top, aka Eddie here, so he'll make his first appearance in the Game Boy games. Um, and... Uh, while not directly, I guess when they mentioned the power of the Mega Buster, that means we have the Charge Buster now. The new Mega Buster, I think it was, it was called Mega Man 4, as in 4 on the NES. Um, I also like to point out there's, there's a couple little taglines here. We got nine levels of action. Ooh. So, I'm kind of expecting this to work out the same way as it did in Mega Man 2. We'll see. And, uh, two Megs. <laughs> Apparently it was really cool in 1992 to have this game uh, uh, put on a 2 megabyte cartridge. Mega, megabyte. Cool. Anyways, that's all out of the way. So uh, Wily's trying to drill into the center of the world. And it's up to me and my robot... Uh, companions to stop the evil robots from doing evil stuff and some freaking Albert Einstein cosplayer 
So, uh, let's load this up in the emulator. Oh, I've, I, I guess I forgot to show off that I do, do have the cartridge of this game. I, I showed the custom case, but I didn't show I have the cartridge. There you go, Nintendo, I'm not pirating. Pieces of shit. I am still using the emulator, though. So let's open up Mega Man 3. We'll screen this bitch, and here we are. We did get a little extra on this opening. Um, we got the license by Nintendo blurb or whatever it said. It's cool. It kind of goes. Opening. Uh, same title screen as we've had, just with the new extra eye. Okay. Alright. Who made this poll? Well, Rhino completes this in less than two hours again. <laughs> Vote now on your phones. I thank you for uh, telling me that I had the wrong scene open, Kaiju. Oops. Thank you, Skelly, for the funny poll. There, I have the correct overlay now. Anyways, Mega Man 3. Let's get started, shall we? So, here's our first four robot masters to take on. All from Mega Man 3. All the other ones from Mega Man 3 that we didn't face in Mega Man 2. Uh, we got Spark Man, we got Gemini Man, we got Shadow Man, we got Snake Man. I genuinely don't know which level to stage to start with first, because this is a, again, a mostly blind playthrough. By mostly, I mean I've played, like, 60% of Snake Man's stage. That's it. I do like how this is... This is the same. Same, uh... Uh, stage selects, uh... Uh, theme, as in Mega Man 3 on NES, except, um, you know, with the Game Boy sound trip. We're gonna start with Snake Man. I'm gonna base this off of how I remember fighting these guys with just the Mega Buster, and I think Snake Man might be the... Yo, alright. Going one-to-one -one with the, uh, the, the, the Robot Master themes, let's go. So, as far as, um, our abilities, we have... We, we can jump, we can slide, and our new thing is, we have the new Mega Buster, which means we can charge it for a more powerful shot. But be prepared to hear this sound effect for the next however many hours this takes. We'll see. Um, in playtesting of this game, by playtesting I mean making sure it, like, emulates properly and shit. Um, I suck. This, this, I think this game's gonna be, uh, closer to Dr. Wily's Revenge in difficulty versus Mega Man 2. Which would make sense, considering this is the same people that made Dr. Wily's Revenge and not Mega Man 2. I think this might be our first mini-boss. Oh wait, no, it's not our first mini-boss. We had the, the dog and the cat in Mega Man 2. So it's not our first mini-boss in the Game Boy series. I don't need that big health refill, so I'm just gonna leave it there. We'll take the small one, though. And then immediately get hit. Look at the tree shaking in the background. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh, that's a bot. That's a par bot paragraph. Jesus. Go! And that's a very, uh, very large jump. Oh, it even got tagged as a ban invader. Let me ban this channel, Twitch. Stop fucking giving me pop-ups to where I can't click on the ban button. Jesus Christ, their UI is awful. Like, the UI is genuinely awful. All I want to do is click the ban button, but every time I, like, don't perfectly hover my mouse correctly over 
the button and accidentally go, like, move, like, three pixels up or down, it has to have an info pop-up of a different freaking command that I'm... that was slightly hovered over for a femtosecond. It's annoying. Oh, I was not expecting him to shoot three things. Believe in the speed run. Well, unlike Joe Hendry, uh, it's not a good idea to believe in me. Oh shit. Unbelievable. Hi, Cass. Welcome to the beginning of Mega Man 3 on the Game Boy. Uh, it's not going well. <laughs> I've died once already. Kids supported. Alright, can I make this jump this time? Yeah! I made it. That's this American driver in the grid raid. Oh god, trying to get. Trying to figure out what you were playing via context clues, I don't know. Uh. 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 I don't remember. By the way, if you're not following, uh, Cass, aka C is not Pog, um, her, her, her account name is actually a lie. She is quite Pog. She should go watch. Smile. F124. Ayy, okay. See, I was thinking you were playing a grid game. Because grid. Me dumb. I mean I was I was almost right. I was in a Code ma uh Codemasters territory territory. Hey look, it's Eddie. Or as he's known in the back cover of this game, Flip Top. Woo! Oh god, snakes. I got snaked. Anyways, to anyone just tuning in, I hope you really like the sound of uh, the Buster being charged, fully charged up, because you're going to be hearing it a lot. Because, uh... Charge Buster do more damage. Make Robot go boom. Uh, I'm, I'm treading carefully. For reasons as like that. Be busted. You know what they say? Bustin' make me feel good. Yeah, have a good night, Saturn. Alright. Hey look, another hammer joke. I have killed the hammer joke. Oh! So I don't know. I want that energy tank. I want it bad. But in my playtesting, I tried to get this, and it didn't end well. Damn it! I was trying to go like I was. I was trying to go up the ladder at, like as low as or as little as possible, or as high as possible without scrolling to the next screen. Because this looks like this is gonna suck. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, I'm gonna stop charging the buster. Made it. Holy shit, I didn't think I was actually going to be able to do that. I'm gaming. I'm gaming so hard right now. Uh huh. Alright, got my first energy tank. Cool. Oh, I jumped. I killed something. Not sure what, but I killed something. Ooh, I don't like this jump. Nope. Made it. I'm... I'm... Alright, this is where we're into a blind playthrough territory. I never made it this far in this stage. I don't know what to expect other than pain and death and... Sorry, I saw the giant health refill. I had to take it immediately. <laughs> Die. Up. And up. Good thing I know about how much I can actually like 
scoot to the edge of a platform without falling. Alright, we've made it to Snake Man. Woo! Okay. That was stressful. Now, let's see how bad I am at fighting Snake Man. I will have the added benefit, compared to Mega Man 3, of, uh, being able to charge my Mega Buster. Oh my god, the slowdown. Uh-uh. Yay, I did it. Beat Snake Man, let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Even Mega Man, like, landing on the... That was kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. That's a really cool sprite. I like that. You got the Search Snake and Rush Coil. Dog. That was a really cool sprite. Alright, we made it through Snake Man stage without game overing. Um... What was I gonna say? I can't remember. Oh, the uh, the sound of like Mega Man landing on a platform. I, I I noticed it after beating Snake Man. It's actually like closer to the NES sound effect than what it was in uh, the first two Game Boy games, which is cool. Yeah, the rooms are a lot smaller because the screen space in the Game Boy is a lot smaller. Got to remember, the the character sprites are a lot larger in this because the Game Boy screen is, like, very small. <laughs> like, imagine whatever you're, like, if you're looking at this on a computer monitor, imagine what you're seeing right now, but, like, one-fifth the size, almost. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, that's not an accurate scale, but for demonstrative purposes. Anyways, we have the Search Snake. I'm looking at the damage data chart for this game because I haven't played a Mega Man game without the use of the damage data chart because I'm shitty at video games. Um, and it looks like Gemini Man is weak to the Search Snake, which I believe is accurate to how he was in Mega Man 3 on the uh, NES. So, time for Gemini Man. Haha, get fucked, Wasp. Damn it, Pingu. Also, I was looking up info about the stages in this game on the Mega Man Wiki. Apparently, Gemini Man's stage just takes place in space. Like, on a different planet. Like, canonically. Which is kind of funny. Oh, shit. I meant to turn around to shoot the wasp. What I did was not do that. Oh, yeah, we, oh, yeah, we. Lots of things. So many things that the game is slowing down. Fuck, why the fuck not? Oh god! Oh, oh, he learned. Oh, he learned how to jump. Matt learned how to jump in the uh, his uh whatever the hell that is. This doesn't make sense anymore. I mean, robots. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't, I don't think this game follows uh, reality to a T. Considering robots. Also the future. The future year of 2000X. Oh, those eggs explode. Okay. Give me. Thanks. Thanks for the extra life. Now we're in the wiggly bit of the... Uh, Whatever the hell's going on on this fucking planet. Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, I want that energy tank. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Actually, I just got Rush Coil. I can totally get it. Boing! Thank you, Rush. Good doggo. Sorry, I really wanted an energy tank. I am low on health. This could be an issue. 
with my uh, lack of knowledge and general recklessness. Lack of knowledge of the stages. And my general recklessness going through the stages. Again, dealing with... Fuck. Dealing with the Gemini Man stuff is a little bit easier because of the having the... being able to charge my buster. At least this room was a checkpoint. There's a banger. It, this does translate. So far, the music has translated very well to the Game Boy. It definitely went for just remixing the NES tracks on the Game Boy. Alright, see if I can make this jump this time. Yeah. Piss. for two. There's also, I think, in Mega Man, like, 9 and or 10, you could also buy, like, spike protection. Maybe even in 7 and 8. There we go. Didn't bonk my head on the ceiling this time. And therefore I made it. Whee! Alright, uh... This generally looks... Alright, safe, safe path. We're good. Frog! dead. Yeah. Yeah, the spike protection stuff. Oh, there wasp. Oh, oh god. Oh, it's this thing. It's the thing. It's the thing with the dispenser. as it always is. That was a big explosion, damn. using the search snake at all. Uh-oh. Alright. I'm at a dangerously low health. I am dead. Mm, damn it. Oh, God. I forgot how early in the stage the checkpoint is. God damn it. Alright. drawback of having an early checkpoint. Gotta go through all this shit again. That uh, means I need to clear this jump again. Yeah! Didn't bonk the ceiling. Let's go. Moving on. Might have to consult a mid-stage energy tank. Alright. 
with you. I thought the penguins being dispensed at the same interval every time. It turns out they are not. That's what screwed me up. Also, the Buster charges charge, charge time is shorter than I think it is. Oh, fuck. here with more health than last time, at least. Damn it. I was hoping I could charge the buster in time. Go away, frog. No one likes you. Not my Mr. Frog. Uh-oh. This is a problem. Okay. It's no longer a problem. Waiting to get sniped by a wasp. I missed! Oh god, alright. Make the jump! Made the jump. Door! Okay. Alright, let's equip the search snake. Mm. Hopefully, I can take one hit. I got greedy. I got greedy. I'm like, ooh, I can take a couple more hits. Maybe I can win this before I have to use an energy tank. So what I did was I fucking died in game over, and now I have to do all Gemini Man, Gemini Man stage again. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Let's go. My first uh, game over since Mega Man, the last stage in Dr. Wily's Revenge. We are, we are finally back at the Man of Gemini. And since I knew where I was going, I wasn't too bad. I only died once. Oh my god, he does so much contact damage when he's not split. That's what the thing, that's what the problem was. <laughs> He does way more contact damage when he's not split into two. I see. Alright. Okay, I remember how this works now. He dies, that's how it works. So when he's split into two, he shoots when I shoot. And then I think he jumps when I shoot in the second phase. Either way, we've defeated Gemini, man. And we got the Gemini Laser. Not laser, Laser. Steal this password. Sorry, that weapon get music goes hard. Um, alright, so, who's next out of these two? Let me fail to read this chart. Time to go to the shadows. Because it's Shadow Man time. Get very, very minor PTSD from having to, uh. From that fucking boss rush. That Buster only boss rush at, a uh, That was like the final challenge of, um. The first legacy collection. God, hated hated Shadow Man. Du, du, du. Hate fighting Shadow Man with just the Buster. He's too unpredictable for my dumbass. You know, I should probably take. If, if I was if I was a coward, I would take an intentional game over at some point. I have no lives remaining. However, ah, uh, oh god, grenades! I forgot about the grenades. 
Okay, you go that way. Fuck you, projectors. Stop. It's my fault that they keep spawning. If they're off screen, they don't exist, and when they go on screen, they exist again. That's way too close to me. Oh my god, there's so much, so much going on right now. I'm not prepared for any of it. Okay. My ass handed to me by these grenades. I think that was the last of the grenades, though. Alright, now what? I feel like that was maybe a checkpoint. Oh, another more wasps? Okay. Sure. Uh-oh. Right. Don't block the ceiling. Well, there's that game over. <laughs> Damn. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's go again. I'm not even gonna make an edit. We're just gonna go again. Drill boy here, or whatever the hell he's doing. All right, it's time for the grenade room, the grenade projector room. Nailed it. Ten out of ten. Spawn. I'm trying to like preemptively destroy the grenades, but I couldn't remember where exactly where they spawned and what at what y axis they spawned. Okay. Alright, so this is where I died last time. These parachute dudes get a little too close for comfort. I thought I was going to get sniped by one right at the end. I was, I was waiting for it. Oh god. Projector. It's gonna wait till it goes the other way. Alright, I'm just gonna preemptively charge the buster just in case. Okay, right, we're at the end of the level. Let's go. So far, these stages have had a decent length to them. I'd say longer than two, but I don't know. I don't remember how comparable they are to the length of the stages in uh, Wily's Revenge. Anyways, here's Shadowman. Can't wait to take all the damage to him, because I fucking suck at fighting Shadowman. Yeah, here we go. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my three energy tanks. I got an extra energy tank, by the way. So those of you watching the edited version of this, because the energy tank in a uh, what's his dick stage, uh, Gemini Man stage respond when I game over. I win. Zoom. You got Shadow Blade. Ninja. I'm a ninja man. Da -da 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 -da. You're welcome. 
Gee, I wonder which Robot Master we should take on now. Guess we'll have to go with Spark Man. Alright, this is another stage I've actually tried when playtesting this game. And, uh... I had many a skill issue with this level. So this ought to be interesting. Gotta wait for those that shit to turn off at its intervals. Lots of electricity. Oh, pfft. Nailed it. 10 out of 10 platforming god. Alright, this is where I had my issues. That frickin' disposer, whatever the hell that is, and then the immediate jump afterwards, which is extremely tight. Might be the furthest I've ever made it in Sparkman stage. Hey, look, another hammer go. Hey, look, he's dead. Thanks for the health. Ooh, energy tank. And I have rush coil, so I can get that. Doggo, I require your services. Berk, berk. platforms that apparently also lag the game. Spooky spike ceiling. I don't like how little time the stage has given me to prepare for uh, certain jumps. Oh! Jump scare. Right, go through the uppies platforms again. And hopefully, don't bonk my noggin on the ceiling and fucking perish. Okay, cool. That went extremely smooth. I don't own Dr. Surprise. Damn it. Damn you, Joe! Okay. Oh. There, we got time bombs. <laughs> I jumped straight into that explosion like a dumbass. Spike scares me. <laughs> Quickly, avoid the blocks of garbage. Jumps without thinking or planning. All right, Joe is dead. The stage is stressing me out. <laughs> Stress me out, man. Especially since it keeps adding spikes. And the checkpoint was very early in the stage. So we got a long way to travel back. Fucking bipped my nose on that spike. Go. 
go. No time to think, just jump. Okay, at least this shaft isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, considering the spikes are spikes lining the walls. Snake does not help. The laser only is slightly better. made the same exact mistake. Oh, look, there's a Hammer Joe right before the boss door. Alright, we've made it to Sparkman. So, let's equip the Shadow Blade, since that's what he's weak to. And, uh, let's get Sparky. Oh yeah, I forgot I can, like, fire those in multiple directions. Oh my god, alright. Hang on. I need to readjust my strategy here. I'm not taking any chances. I don't care if that was pointless, I'm not taking any chances. Alright, that one hit justified using the uh, energy tank. I forgot that Sparkman actually, like, chases after me and not just jumps from back... from, uh, one side of the room to the other. We got the Spark Shock! Shocking. Oh, we've made it through the first four Robot Masters. Very sloppily, but we did it. Let's head to, uh... Let's head to Wily's Fortress. this mountain. Spooky. All that. Jesus Christ. Well, lightning. Hello. I've arrived. Uh oh. Might. Okay, you know what? I'm taking the coward's way out. By that I mean saving myself like three seconds. Here we go. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, it's those platforms. He's it. Immediately drop you. See, I would have gotten the game over anyways in this first hallway. God damn it. You have to jump immediately. And I'm like, barely mistiming. That was intentional. Okay, this time for real. I haven't even made it past the first room. Okay. Uh, what the f What is the timing, man? I swear I pressed jump as soon as I landed on the platform. Wasn't good enough, I guess. You. Fucker. <laughs> Alright, so that's, um... Three semi-intentional game-overs on the very first room of this level. 
This does not bode well. I got impatient. I thought I jumped. Press the button like a frame too late. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I made it. And that was it. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Oh god, I forgot about the giant Susie. Uh, okay, you sort of have a weakness, and it's the spark shock. I. Oh, okay, you, you, you bounce. Alright. Susan, please. Calm down. Susan's not calming down. It's fine, we defeated Susan. <laughs> Very sloppily, but we defeated Susan. Oh, hey, a teleporter. Oh, I guess that was the end of that. <laughs> one really annoyingly difficult hallway. We sent to a teleporter. Oh, hey, look. So it, we're sent to the uh, next set of levels. And instead of not knowing where I'm going, just because it's an un unmarked teleporter, uh, we actually are just given each Robot Master. So here's the uh, Mega Man 4 Robot Masters represented in this game. We got, uh, Dust- no, that's not. That's, uh, Dive Man. I don't know why I couldn't recognize him by his portrait. Skull Man, Dust Man, and Drill Man. Since I can freely choose, I can play the weakness game, except I can't because none of them are weak to any of the Mega Man 3 weapons. So, who would be the easiest to take care of with the Mega Buster? Dust. Let's try Dust, man. Alright, time for the uh, second set of Robot Masters, baby. Let's go. because Mega Man 2, the uh, second phase, didn't refill my weapon energy because we were technically still in, like, the fortress level. Damn you, jumpy Mets. This is a really good Game Boy rendition of Dustman's theme. Ooh, that was wait. <laughs> Those were three failure points. Holy crap. I almost bonked the ceiling. I almost didn't make the platform, and I almost got hit by the freaking pit thing. Oh, I actually made that jump. Okay. I didn't think I was going to be able to make that jump. Hey, look, our first uh, Game Boy uh, appearance of the Shieldy Boys. Cool. <laughs> See ya. Uh, I thought I could just slide onto that platform. Uh, unfortunately, I could not. Oh, God. You know what? You can't hit me here. I'm safe here. Uh huh. I don't like this jump. Yeah, I, I did not like that. Uh, oh god, spikes! I almost just jumped right onto the spikes. presenting me with a lot of very, very tricky jumps. And I don't appreciate it.
well... <laughs> that was an interesting way to die. I don't think I reached a checkpoint. Damn. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. The goblin. He's nuts. Got him. a little faster, so I sort of know. Time to Ah, oh, damn it. Walk too far. I really wanted that health refill. Uh Got about big fucker. Okay. That's one up there. I don't like this. Damn it. Well. Time peel off my head. <laughs> it's too easy. But I understand. All right. Game over number... Four? Five. Right, I guess I'll just make this the edit point. Because we're in this room with this met. I don't know. One additional game over later. Maybe go back to making progress in this level. We're up to six for those keeping track at home. Why didn't I charge my buster? What the fuck am I doing here? This is the furthest I've gotten so far. Because the shield. I, I immediately game over to that shield. So I do not know what awaits me. Oh, it's the, the pressing. The, the press room. Okay. This is the checkpoint of the level. Finally found the checkpoint. I folded. It's gonna take this nice and slow. Safe here. Thank <laughs> you. 
very patient. I don't know how I avoided that. Okay. Alright. Fuck me. I feel another game over and coming. That'll be three in this level alone. <laughs> <laughs> that was too close. I, don't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. Spikes. And precarious jumps. And these fucking things. Oh, hey, it's the uh, gumball machine. Whatever the hell this thing is. The lag machine. Number, I think, seven. Something like that. Damn it. This is a long level. Now we gotta do it all from the beginning. This level is stressing me out, man. Stressing me out so bad. Yeah, this is... This jump right here is where the furthest progress I've made. Okay. I'm gonna go for it. Ooh. Oh, there is a wall there. What the? Some tells me I don't have anything that could break that wall. Nope. Okay. I'll go fuck myself, I guess. I really wanted that extra life. I have a feeling that I would probably need Drillman's weapon to break that wall if it is breakable. Kind of looked like a uh, a drilly wall. 
Anyways. Time for more precarious jumps and another game over. That's... I think four in this level alone. Which is, uh... Ooh. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to try a different level. That's like nine game overs on fucking Dust Man. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Let's see if it, let's see if Dive Man's stage is as ridiculously difficult. What's so many near pixel, near frame perfect jumps required? I forgot how much of a banger Dive Man's theme is. That, that level kind of broke me, I'm not gonna lie. While... While having the Rush Jet won't make the level easy, it'll at least make... Like, 20% of the jumps less... Life or death. If I'm a pixel or a frame off. Whale. No, don't suck me. Yeah, that one's surprising well. Yay, buoyancy! Oh no, buoyancy. Just slide through this gap, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these things. Go. Oh, I don't know how I dodged that. I jumped too high. God damn it. Like how they're tr trying their best to emulate the the thunk of like the all the instruments, the NES version of this track with the, G the Game Boy sound chip. God damn it! Things are so hard to avoid. I know Mega Man 4 was Spike Hell. But did you have to make the Mega Man 4 stages insane Spike Hell? Well, I didn't even work anyways. Oh, hey, it's you. I know how to deal with these things now. Spark Shock. Thing 
always go on its merry little way. Eddie! Really? Really? Come on, Eddie. That's more like it. Thank you, Eddie. Does that go? Okay. Just be patient. And don't walk directly into the spike. Do touch <laughs> You know what? This looks a little more promising than uh, what I went through in Dust Man's stage, so I'm going to keep going. <laughs> This seems like a good spot for the edit. Because we're here. Despite more game overs. And a tiny bit more progress. Fucking whatever. This game's hard. Mega Man 3 levels were like... They weren't easy, but they were nothing like this. And then we got to the second set of Robot Masters. Actually, I think that little hallway in the uh, Wily, Wily Fortress was... was a sign... that the CBT is about to begin. I don't trust myself with this jump. I don't trust that placement of Rush, either. Okay. Take that the safe way. This is the farthest I've made it in this level. And <laughs> almost. And it was the end of the level. God damn it. I'm upset. Well, we've made it. We've made it to our first Mega Man 4 Robot Master in this game. <sighs> Alright, Dive Man. Er, yeah, Dive Man. I was about to call him Wave Man, but Wave Man is, uh. Man 5. If I die here, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I got him down to 1 HP, so... That wasn't too bad. Dive missiles are a bit of a pain in the ass to avoid, but they don't do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, we did it! It took me almost an hour and a half, but we finally defeated one of the first of the Mega Man 4 Robot Masters in this game. Please give me Rush Jet. I don't actually know which stage gives me Rush Jet in this game. Please let it be this one. Well, we got the dive missile. It's not this one, damn it. Huh. Okay, one down. Three to go. Who's weak to the dive missile? Drill Man, alright. Let's go to Drill Man stage. stages. Unlike the second 
set of Robot Masters in two. I say they did a really good job porting the, uh, the NES like music to the Game Boy. Sounds pretty damn good for uh, like it, it sounds almost like identical. I heard some about that. I don't really keep up with that full news, so I saw it in Discord and didn't really think anything of it. Someone had to uh, give a Ferrari seat to Lewis, so. Ah, shit. Uh, oh. Uh, I guess I need Rush for this. It's a bat, dude. Oh, look, more bat dudes. Damn it. I got out sniped. Oh, duh. Okay. 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 I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Ceiling. Hi, Eddie. Well, I can't really cheese Eddie in this. Going for it. Worth it. I knew I was going to miss time the jump, but worth it. That's that's two energy tanks. Fuck it, whatever. I've already had like fifteen thousand game overs in this game. You can't. Can't scare me anymore. Absolutely can scare me. I still have to actually beat Dust Man. Well, I have to get to Dust Man. I guess the good news is, if and when I ever get to Dust Man, I'll have his weakness. So hopefully, the fight itself won't be too bad. Second one. Can I even make that jump without a rush? Okay, I can. I'm just a dumbass. I also haven't played Okami yet, uh, ever. I would like to one day, though. I forgot about this immediately. I probably know what happened there, but it wasn't right. That works. Okay. Now, what horrors await me? Well, it seems I chose the right lane to take. I see. Should have seen that coming. Well, at least this is the this is the checkpoint of the level. Oh, Time bombs. Alright, things 
probably about to get a lot more ridiculous in, in this level, isn't it? Well, I definitely need Rush for this jump. How am I supposed to avoid that? Explain yourself, game. I'm fighting this Hammer Joe just in case he drops something. Uh, I was hoping for health. Uh, da -da. <laughs> I died to metals! I died to metals, I came over to metals. That's a that's a pretty good pretty pretty This game's hard. <laughs> I think this is where the game over happened. <laughs> or at least somewhat in this uh vicinity. With the fucking rocks. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore this. Just everything in this room. Oh yeah, this is where I game over, right? The the freaking Mets. It's all about the Mets, baby. Let's go. Okay. Have seen that coming? Okay. Can I shoot these. I can shoot them. I'm so stupid. Why didn't I just? Oh my God! I see the end. Of, I see the Wily die. Uh, I the end of the level. It's called Rock Man. Why do you see her by rocks? Yes. All right. Let's equip the dive missile. Let's take on Drillman. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, touching Drillman directly does a fuckload of damage. That did a lot of damage. Maybe that's why there's two E-Tanks in this level. Also, I was expecting them to immediately, like, drill underground, which is why I didn't really do anything at first, because... Yeah. Ooh, he's not invincible when he is currently drilling, unlike in 4. Unlike on the NES. Okay, so he's actually easier in this game because he doesn't have, he's not invincible while he's drilling. We've made it through two stages. <laughs> while these stages have been very hard, they have not been Dust Man hard. Drill bomb. Yeah. Still no sign of Rush Jet, which. Drill bomb. Who's weak to the drill bomb? It looks like it's Dust Man. Uh... You know what? I'm going to Skull Man stage first. I have a feeling Skull Barrier might help me out. In some way, shape, or form, in Dustman the stage. <laughs> Excuse me, holy shit! All right, it's time for it's time for Bones. It's time for Mr. Bones' wild ride. I see you. This is Wily's favorite robot master ever, because skulls. Come to the bone zone. This is the motherfucking share zone. We finally found share zone HQ. That's a lot of ribs on the ground. A very large rib cage. A very long rib cage. Come on, stupid bat. Oh, 
Oh, the dud, the dud shield. Right. Skull man. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Excuse me, holy fuck. Oh, I'll take that, Eddie. I'll probably immediately lose that life, but I'll take it. Oh. I'm like, oh, that's an easy jump. I just go two fucking tiles up. Across a long gap. Yeah, no. Told you I was gonna immediately lose that life. Because I wanted to play the uh, vanilla. I didn't know there was a DX version of three. So I want to play the game in its original state. not fine. I forgot about Shieldy. Go away. I'm dropping a lot of weapon energy that I'm not using. Jump if I can. I don't, even, I don't even know if I can spawn rush on that small ass platform. Ah, I've been boned. Come on. Wait for you, you don't wait for me. situation here. Oh my god, the slowdown and the sprite flicker from hell. Alright. Can I spawn rush on this tiny ass platform? Holy shit, thank you for the super chat. Freaking combat damage. Oh, he, oh, that wasn't supposed to be a uh, prophecy or a prediction. It was supposed to be a joke. It wasn't supposed to actually happen. At least I know it works. It's very awkward, but it works. Boy. That's, that's, 
what I said. What happened? There it is. <laughs> uh, there's the super chat freaking uh, notification. I don't know why those are so freaking delayed. Oh, okay, bye. You know what? I'm not gonna go for that. That looks that looks like a head on ceiling moment. Head on ceiling into the pit. I'm just gonna leave it there. Necessarily need the uh, weapon energy. God, all right, this jump's gonna suck. Eek. Okay, that is a rush coil. That might also be a rush coil. I thought that was death. I thought because it went the, pla the, the, the background went black, I thought I was about to fucking die. Okay, all right. Sorry, I had to like mentally regroup there because I thought I was fucking dead. I was boned. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm using one. <laughs> not this, not like this. Okay, I need... You know what? That works. take it out with the charged buster. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that jump. Oh my god. This is the boss room. Okay. What you're saying is Nico Rosberg is... If you're Nico Rosberg's teammate, that means you're gonna win some major motorsport title or race. Oh, that's right. I don't have Skullman's weakness. 
forgot about that. Okay, I do not remember his, uh, attack pattern. Being a little fucker by inching. There he goes. Alright, whatever, I defeated this gold man. Yeah! We've made it past the, the three stages of grief. Well, gotta face my demons now. We got the skull barrier. No rush jet. Which means I'm, we get the rush jet from Dustman, I'm pretty sure. God damn it. Cope. Okay. Let's try this again. Fuck off. Here we go. Stupid shit. All right. Uh, okay. So skull barrier is consumed whenever it hits something, which is less than ideal. That's really not going to help me out. Also, I'm at zero lives. So you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. On purpose. I've been through this level enough times to know what horrors await me. Okay. Yeah, Tactic L. Oh, that was... I think I was like... If I moved one pixel further, that would have been, oh, that been a, a fall to my death. Man definitely has the largest number of extremely difficult and precarious jumps over death. I remember. Something something September. Spark shock. I can just go to town. to the checkpoint. Now the f now now the level really begins. as few failure, failure points as possible. Okay. 
<laughs> That's impossible, you told me. This was a bad idea. Okay, made it past the crusher. I have a feeling there's a second screen with the uh, a second crusher screen. I just haven't been to it yet because I this level is insane. Uh, what's up, my um, fear? The bullshit. We have about 17 more of those to deal with in this level. God fucking damn it. Alright. Here we go again. An hour wasn't enough. It took you less time to uh, install the install ACC than it took me to uh, beat this level that I still haven't beaten yet. It took me less time to beat the entirety of Mega Man 2 than this level. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I actually have the means to get this extra life now. Because I do have the drill bomb. No regrets. Okay. Past that one. I just, I just don't want to deal with the freaking gumball machine. <laughs> it almost got one shot on me. Oh right, this is the furthest I've made it so far because of this freaking jump. No, nah, he's too far away. I'm almost tempted to just use iframes from getting hit by the shield to cross that gap. That, that's where I am right now. With this. Yeah. <laughs> 
Honestly, what's keeping me calm is the fact that I've been in these situations before in this franchise where I'm faced with an insanely difficult challenge and I gotta become the ultimate gamer to pull it off. This ain't my first rodeo, but it doesn't make it any easier. Too far back. Uh, I'm going to blame impatience on that one. I didn't, I didn't spend enough time to properly set that up. It took me quite a while to learn how to be patient with this shit. Oh, I thought I wasn't making that. that one. Eat up, snakeies. I'm still contemplating just using infinite iframes. I'll do it legit. I 
Oh god, alright. Now what's left? I feel like this is bait. Yeah, that's bait. No, mm -mm. I don't think so. Not now. If I had more than zero lives remaining, maybe. I fucking almost died. Alright. I have a feeling that's gonna respawn. Yep. Oh god, there's more. Why is there more? Hi. How you guys doing? Y'all have- Oh, I'm using an energy tank. I don't care. That's not an energy tank. Go down. Oh, thanks. Thanks for nothing. Actually, you know what? Skull Barrier might have been a good idea to use. In that situation, whatever. At least there weren't any spikes or oh, anything. Me and my big mouth. Just shield jump scare. Jesus. Oh my god, the end of the level. Alright, I'm taking no chances. Filling up now. What the hell is dust weak to? Weak to the drills. Dust is not particularly difficult in terms of his attack pattern, but I'm taking no chances and I don't perfectly remember his attack pattern. still invincible when sucking. Finally. Holy crap. That... Jesus Christ, that level was so hard. Alright, that took me like an hour and a half, but we got through Dustman stage. And just to add salt into the wound, this is the stage where I get the rush jet. And also the dust crow, I guess. Fuck me. Alright, time for the final level. Because that was eight. Well, actually, no. I think it's time we gotta go back to the fortress, because we still haven't faced the special thing. The Game Boy exclusive boss here. It's time. For one Dr. Wily, I guess. It's all black and white. Hi, Rob. Here we go. It's time for Mega Man Killer number two. Say hello to Punk. Yes. Alright. Let me friggin' go. Now, I sucked ass at fighting Punk in, uh, Mega Man 10. Because of his dash attack. I have a feeling the same is going to happen here. Oh, well, I, I jumped right into that. I hope he loses his title and never shows up again, ever. Maybe all the uh, the lawsuits against him and all just the fact that everyone fucking hates him and he scams everybody, maybe, uh...
Anyways, punk. Unfortunately, I haven't figured that out. Fuck, dude. Holy shit. Dude, three hits and I'm dead. God damn. People who are comfortable being stupid and pushing incorrect rhetoric. Rhetoric, yeah. This is why I simply do not use Twitter anymore, or social media in general. There's, there's too, the, the stupid virus is too much for me to handle. Got, I guessed wrong. Fuck. Son of a bitch. How to manipulate his shots where I don't have to like try too hard to avoid them. Yeah. So he does something like that. Which seems to not work for me. Damn it, I thought he was gonna go low, he went high, fuck. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, I guess we'll just keep sawing away at Punk until I actually beat him. What the fuck did I just type in my stupid thing? Okay. I press down. Didn't slide. Gotta say by iframes there. Holy shit, okay. There we go. <laughs> I did not think that was gonna be the successful attempt, but here we are. Sure. Why not? I, I don't know how I've done it, but I've done it. Sure. Anyways, from defeating Punk, we got the Screw Crusher. Screw you. <laughs> Funny. Alright, time for the final level. I fear. We're going... Oh. I thought we were going to space again, then I remembered. No. He really took over an oil rig. That was a cool shot, actually. With, uh, Mega Man riding to the, uh, Fortress on Rush. Alright. Here we fucking go. This is gonna be anything like the final level of Wily's Revenge. I am... In for a, uh, not a good time, and also a long time. Alright, so given the timing of these is a bit of a pain. I'll take that. Oh, oh, okay. Double shield. Double shield it up. Kill this one just in case it drops something I need. It did not drop something I needed. But yeah, 
how much it's full. So, I have one energy tank, which is a lot less than I'd hoped I'd have at this point, but... Dustman. I don't like this. I don't like this because you need to be like pixel, like frame perfect on your jumps on those platforms. It's actually insane how little time you have to jump off that platform. Like, that might actually be frame nearly, if not completely frame perfect. If it's not frame perfect, it's too frame perfect. I forgot about the shields. I'm stupid. Jet this. That seems to be my only option. Why, why did he not go up when I pressed up? Hang on. Hang on. I need to, I need to check some here. Alright, they nerfed Rush Jet harder in this game than they did in Mega Man 4, fuck. Not on the NES. I can't even, I can't go up or down. That's unexpected, okay. That kinda sucks. You know what else sucks? My timing. Don't jump off of this ladder because of the shields. fucking thing for that stupid fucking platform. We might be here a while. We might be here a long while. Why are you making me do this game? What the fuck is this? What the fuck was that? Okay. <laughs> so this is how it's gonna be, huh? Alright. Okay, let's try from here. Now. 
Uh, let's see. What can I use to get rid of that projector? Definitely not the Gemini laser. Dive missile. Okay, cool. I forgot the dive missiles were homing. Suck you. Suck it. Suck you, yes. Oh god, grenades. Okay, uh... Alright, cool. Skull to protect me. I don't like this. This looks, um... Rather painful. Yep, knew it. I'm gonna ignore the Hammer Joe and just go about my day. Ooh, that was really close, okay. Couldn't really ignore Bonaparte there. Dive missiles. things. And this stuff. Hammer Joe. Hammer slow. Slow and I still got hit. Oh, oh, okay, whatever. I have a feeling it's only gonna get much worse from here. That shit. I probably should have refilled my dive missiles, and I have a feeling uh, holding property is gonna be very useful here. You know, I stood there thinking, huh, that looks like it might crush me. Hmm, interesting. And then I let it crush me. First screen of air I've ever seen in the game. Oh. Tearing yourself apart. Uh. McCain. Freaking 
antagonist name. through that. No school barrier, sure, I'll keep it. Oh, all right, fine. Not fine, how am I supposed to... That's really all I gotta say about that is just how am I supposed to? Alright, back to the beginning. Made it back to the 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 this whatever this is. The spike crusher of pain. And suffering. With one whole extra life. through this last time, I, I just remembered. Didn't make it much very far past it, though. Right, this is where the game over happened. I say no. I don't know how I'm expected to make that. But Rush Jet is how I'm making it. Time bomb, I understand. That one's actually possible. I want it. Give me. Give me for real this time. Alright, I have two energy tanks. Thank the fuck. Edward! Oh well. Okay. And I am treading very carefully because I don't know what insane shit the game is going to throw at me. This has been throwing pretty, plenty of shit at me. I'm just gonna use the spark to 
disable it. And then feed it snakes. Until it dies. Okay. Then for the Met. Okay, it was just a twirly one. Phew. Desire because uh, they don't do shit to Wily apparently. Actually, I don't even need that health refill. I see. You know, I have to say this level not as bad as Dustman stage. Sure, there's a lot of like spikes and shit, but this was actually easier than Dust. Oh god, I forgot about Susie. Okay, never mind. We might not be uh, close to done yet. Alright, Giant Susie. Part 2. Forgot we had to refight Large Susan. Oh, that's okay. That was unexpected. Please don't die to Susie. Oops. But wait, there, there's more. Of course, there's more. Uh, silly me thinking I was at the end. <laughs> That room is fine. Hmm. This one looks potentially annoying. Alright, cool. <laughs> Annoyance denied. Such a gamer. Oh hi, how you doing? You hop, don't you? Yeah, you jump. I definitely need these health pickups. That is not where I wanted to spawn rush. I'm forgetting what the buttons do. I don't like this jump. I hate it so much that I uh, mistimed my... yeah. Thank fuck there's two checkpoints in this level. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if there's more where that came from. Oh, answer no. No, there was not. I was expecting a, a, a second uh, large bouncy boy. What I got was Joseph. We're at the end. Oh god, okay. Alright, two energy tanks. 
Okay, Wily, here we go. Say hello to the Wily Machine 3. I don't know what it does. Which is a substantial problem. I know what it does now. If only I knew how to jump. It's tripping me up whenever it lands. Okay. Alright, phase one is dead. But wait, there's more. Of course there's more, that wouldn't be the end. Alright, according to the damage chart, literally the only thing that can hurt this is the screw crusher. So here we go. Find machine phase two. Oh, yep, okay. Yep. Alright, at least the screw crusher has a lot of friggin' ammo. Is this it? I guess this is all it does. <laughs> okay. I like how the final boss music is just the Mega Man 4 boss music. I think. Or if it's the regular boss. I don't fucking know. I don't know anymore. Alright. I'm pretty sure I can take another hit from those, however, I'm not taking a chance. God. Pretty difficult to aim. This only does one point of damage per, per screw attack. I mean, it's the screw attack, let's be honest here. Screw attack, but it's a projectile. Alright, this is one of the uh, simpler Wily machines. I wouldn't say easier, but it's definitely simpler. energy tank. So I have plenty of uh, screw attacks left. This is fine. Yes! Fuck you, Wily. God damn, this game was hard. Holy shit. Like, this game was hard, and then there's Dustman stage. <laughs> Why was Dustman stage so... Stupidly difficult. Anyways, Wily escapes. Oh my god, the base blows up. His oil rig drilling plan failed. And Wily escapes to. Oh, never mind. Okay, Wily's dead. Again. He has died twice now in this uh, Game Boy series. Look, the skull shroom cloud was crying. Fuck you, Wyatt. We get a different angle of Mega Man. In the, uh... Bomber Pee Pee Peppy. In the roll call. Photogram. Mega Man looks pissed. Because of the, how his helmet is. Walking bomb. Yeah, I'd say it is. Parasu. Yambao. Fourth one is 2D. God. It's all because of Dust Man. Electric Gabio. I almost read that as Electric Gabagoo. Alekin. <laughs> Dada. Dada. Where is Mama? Petite Snakey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, 
Hammer Joe. Oh, he had his eyes, his eye closed. And they took the picture. So you know how Mega Man 2 up and down? It's literally its name. You know how Mega Man 2 was like really easy and I didn't game over once? Picado 24. What happened to the other 23? Um. And yeah, I didn't game over and it was pretty easy. This was the uh this was the exact opposite of that. I game over a fuck ton. I'm pretty sure at least like nine, ten times in Dustman stage alone. And this game was really hard. <laughs> damn. Like, damn this was hard. Like, outside of the Legacy Challenge mode, this might be one of the hardest. Hmm. I'd say it's second to uh, when I played 10 as base on hard mode. Like, this is... Definitely top three, so jump big. Top three of the hardest of the uh, the classic Mega Man's. That is a for certain. Shield attacker. Pickle man. Da da. Funny shit I've ever seen. Super Ball Machine. Ballin'. Bubukan Mark II. Hmm. The ladder press, yeah. I draw with press channel. Pull! Probably pull A. Pull A, pull A. The Metals. How cute. Sparkman! Here's the Robot Masters. Lest we forget. Sparkman! Gemini Man! Snake Man! Shadow Man! Giant Z. Man. Oh yeah, this is the uh, second game that actually didn't have a uh, boss rush at the end, I just realized. Skull Man. Drill Man. The only, the only boss we re-fought was the uh, giant Susie. Dust Man. So Cisco. I'll do a thing. Oh no. Don't freak out. I don't like the sound of that. Wily machine. It certainly was a machine. Rush and Eddie. Oh, they literally credit him as Eddie in this game. They call him Flip Top in the back cover. Tier three for six months in advance. Cisco, what the fuck? I didn't even know you could sub in advance. Well then. Yay, thank you for playing. Presented by Capcom. Flared up. Now you know. Knowing is half the battle. Alright, is this gonna be another intentional soft lock? Yep. Get a discount for doing it? Really? Huh. So, Cisco, this, um, this begs the question. Why Tier 3? What, what the hell? So... But I don't have anything to offer at that tier. I, to be fair, I don't have anything to offer at any sub-tier, but, you know. However... That was Mega Man 3. Fuck, this game's hard. 
Did I get that across enough? Uh, this game's really friggin' hard. God. Yeah, she'll be back. I don't know what else to say. This game's fucking hard, man. And it didn't even have Hard Man in it. <laughs> it was in the last one. This is this was quite a uh, a, uh, a shock after playing Mega Man 2 and how not really hard that was to this. Yeah, no Hard Man, but Hard. <laughs> Fuck. I will say though. Good game. The difficulty spike was ridiculous. Dustman stage had no right being as hard had Dustman stage had no right having as many ridiculously difficult jumps as it as it had in that game or er, that stage. Even the Wily station, the final level of the game, which was a frickin' marathon by the way, only had like one or two extremely precarious jumps. Dustman had one almost every screen. <laughs> it was ridiculous. But other than Dustman stage and how stupid difficult that was, I was alright with the difficulty spike, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the other Mega Man 4 Robot Master stage is were fine. They were they were hard, but they were manageable, and but again, the Wily Station wasn't that bad. The Punk fight was pretty difficult, but that's more of a, uh, uh, my, my lack of brain function when it comes to reacting, one, in a timely manner, and two, with the correct inputs. Um, but his pattern was easy to figure out. But that's the third and in, third installment of the uh, Mega Man World series. So next time we uh, we boot up my Game Boy emulator, we'll be heading to Mega Man Four next time. So uh, thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you in the next Man Mega Man Man.